Thank you, Deputy Speaker. The question Speaker. is that the document be noted. I call the member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, I rise to speak um, and take note of this report because the National Disability Insurance Scheme is so important to so many people in the electorate of Dunkley. Um, it has provided an opportunity for parents to get the sort of support they need um, for children um, often who have severe disabilities. Um, both physical and behavioural and intellectual. And it's offered the opportunity for adults to live lives of uh, dignity that before the NDIS they really struggled um, to be able to access or to afford. It's really important, therefore, that we do all that we can um, to both ensure that the NDIS is working appropriately, that the NDIA is overseeing a system that is making people's lives better, not harder, and that we safeguard against incremental attacks on that very important scheme. Um, there are two matters that I wish to raise uh, briefly in this contribution. First is uh, to join my uh, Labor colleagues um, and the Shadow Minister in thanking the incredible people who work in the disability sector, um, whether it be uh, work with people who are participants in the NDIS um, or people uh, who aren't participants but have uh, disabilities. Um, disability workers are some of the most amazing people um, in this country uh, whose work is often, as with aged care workers, as much about love as it is about pay. Um, and certainly not about conditions, because they are doing uh, an essential job of caring for vulnerable people, uh, often for very little pay and in bad conditions. And uh, to the unions that represent workers in that sector, the ASU, the HSU, the United Workers' Union and the AWU, um, we hear you and then, um, the way you stand up for your members. Um, and uh, I can promise to be part of ongoing work to ensure that the insecure nature of a lot of the work in this sector is something that is a priority to be addressed. The second matter I wanted to raise is the proposal from the Minister um, for these independent assessments. This is something that has been raised to me by a number of my constituents, both participants in the NDIS and service providers. Uh, and we've seen that uh, the minister, through the agency, has released discussion papers or consultation papers. Um, and I have undertaken to my community, I will be holding a forum early in the new year uh, for all those people who are concerned or interested in what this proposal might mean um, to them as participants or service providers um, or family and friends of those who are participants, so that we can, as a community, discuss um, the issues uh, and contribute to the consultation um, process. Because I hold grave concerns about this independent assessment process, as do almost all of the uh, experts and participants that you would speak to. And um, I don't often advocate that people go and read a, um, an article in a newspaper uh, to educate themselves about um, the complexities of a policy issue. Um, but I would suggest that anyone interested in the status of the National Disability Insurance Scheme and where uh, this government appears to be taking it, take the time to read uh, Rick Morton's article, The Seven-Year Plot to Undermine the NDIS, that was in the um, Saturday paper on the 5th of December. Um, it does identify the way that under this government, more and more control of what happens in the NDIS is being vested in um, the minister and is being vested in the Commonwealth and not the states and not the participants. Um, Decision-making power being concentrated in the hands of the federal government or the minister is not what the scheme was intended to be. And as Labor's shadow minister has said, he is concerned that there's a faction within the government who simply want to reduce costs and make it hard to claim. A faction. Not everyone in the government, and we've seen the hard work from government members on the NDIS review committee and others. Um, so it's not a blanket concern, but certainly it would appear that there are those whose commitment to the NDIS is less than satisfactory. 
The concern of the independent assessments is that it takes away the ability of participants to have assessments completed by medical practitioners, um, allied health professionals, psychologists, that they have an ongoing treating relationship with and puts it into the hand of someone who doesn't know their history and doesn't know their background. And it may be that in some circumstances that sort of assessment might be appropriate. But taking away the choice from the participants um, has the possibility to have grave negative consequences. So does the possibility that is also raised in Rick Morton's article, that in order to bring about this change, the government will need to rewrite sections of the legislation that governs the NDIS, um, including um, the provision that regulates the relationship between states and territories and the Commonwealth. And that, in order, and that if that occurs, it would be, and I quote, the final step in giving all significant control of the NDIS to the federal minister. And given the history of the way social services have been run under um, this government um, and responsible ministers, that should be a grave concern to anyone. And it should be a concern anyway, even if um, the responsible minister was the best minister anyone had ever seen. Because as I said, it's not the intention of the legislation. Um, and as former Prime Minister Julia Gillard told the Saturday paper, people campaigned for the NDIS because they wanted to be able to make decisions about their lives and to customise the best mix of services for their unique circumstances, needs and life plans. Any reforms to the NDS must remain true to these aims. That will be my guiding principle as I work with my community um, to put forward our response to what appears to be a very inappropriate move by this minister to yet again undermine the service that is essential to so many vulnerable Australians. Thank you. Yeah. The question is that the document